so this one is the glucose structure in fissure projection and this one is glucose structure in chair conformation so if we want to draw the chair conformation glucose structure then at first we have to draw the cycloaxial structure this one so how we can draw the cycloaxial structure so at first we have to draw the oxygen and then we have to draw the other hands of this cycloaxial structure like this so this is the whole cycloaxial structure and this way we can draw it and in next we have to place the number of carbon so this one is the first carbon and this one is second carbon this one is third carbon this one is fourth carbon and this one is fifth carbon so, and the sixth carbon we will know it later okay so in this way we have to number the carbon and now we have to draw so we have to know how these perpendicular lines we have to draw so what rules we have to remember for this for drawing this perpendicular lines which are present in every carbon so for that we have to at first we have to remember that for carbon number one always the perpendicular line will go in downwards like this and in the next all in all carbon in next they will go alternatively in opposite direction so in first carbon it goes downwards so in second carbon it will go upwards and in third car third carbon it will go downwards and in fourth carbon it will go upwards and in fifth carbon it will go downwards okay so in this way we have to draw these perpendicular lines and these perpendicular lines are called the axial positions so in this way we can draw the axial positions and now we have to draw these side lines so these are the side lines and these are called the equatorial position so to draw this equatorial position one thing we have to remember the rules is at first for the to draw the equatorial position for the first carbon we have to see or we have to watch the second carbon the line which is present after the second carbon so this line this goes in this direction so we have to draw for carbon number one in this direction so it is opposite way but it in parallelly okay so for next second carbon we have to draw it so we have to see the third carbon and the straight line goes upwards so we have to draw it downwards but parallelly okay so for third carbon we have to see the fourth carbon and its after the this straight line so is this straight line go downwards so for third carbon we have to go parallelly but opposite direction that is upwards so for fourth carbon we have to see the fifth carbon and after this the straight line so it's go upwards so we have to go parallelly downwards okay and in next for fifth carbon we have to see this sixth carbon or here no carbon is present so we have to see this straight line goes in downwards so we have to draw it parallelly in the upward direction okay so in this way you can draw the cycloaxial structure with axial and equatorial lines and now we have to place the OH and H groups which are present in glucose according to their direction so to place this OH and H group at first we have to imagine a man standing in this structure whose head is towards the carbon 1 his head is towards the carbon 1 and his hands are extended like this and this is his right hand and this is his left hand so his right hand denote the structure the ohs oh or h group which are present in right side okay and his left hand denotes the all the molecules or h or oh groups which are present in left side okay so his right is represented by sorry uh, the oh groups or h group which are present in the right side will be represented by his right hand and the OH groups or H groups which are present in left side will be represented by his left hand. So now if we place this man to this structure, we can see this type of structure and his head is towards the 
carbon number 1 and this is his right hand and this one is left hand. So now the wedge groups which are present in right side now they will be placed in downwards and those wedge or edge groups which are present in left side they will be placed in upwards. Okay, so in this way we have to place all the wedge and edge groups. So at first for carbon number 1 the wedge group is present in right side. So right side means we have to place it in downwards. So here the wedge group will be in downwards. Okay, so for carbon number 2 this one is the carbon number 2. So for carbon 2 the wedge group is present in right side. So we have to place it in the downwards. So for carbon number 3, the wedge group is present in left side. So we have to place it in the upper side because left means in upper side. Okay. So now in fourth carbon, the carbon, uh, the wedge group is right side. So we have to place it in downwards. And in fifth carbon, this one is the fifth carbon and this one is the fourth. So for fifth carbon, always the CH2OH, this one, the CH2OH always will be present in upside, okay? Because here no wedge group is present because this wedge is already uh, formed a ring structure with the carbon 1. So here only H is present. So H will be always present in downwards in the carbon 5 and in all other places we have to fill the gap with hydrogen like this okay so in this way we can draw any kind of uh, any kind of molecule in their chair conformation okay and this one is the alpha glucose structure in chair conformation okay so thank you for watching this video